have the white mat out. This is might be nice to you week. Um, however, I am feeling energetic. So just because it's flexibility week does not mean it needs to be low energy week. So I'm feeling very high energy yesterday, high energy. Maybe it's just the time of day I'm getting started. I'm not quite sure about that. The weather is amazing outside today. So I am going to be outside a lot today. Um, get some of my outside stuff done, put my kitchen stuff on home. So, no props week, so I'm not going to use any props. If you have a blanket, a firm blanket or some pillows, that would be good. That will help aid in some of the things that you might need. Um, usually when I'm sitting on the floor like this, folded legs, I rarely sit with my butt on the ground um, unless I'm doing a particular stretch that my sits bones need to be really connected to the floor. Um, what sitting on a blanket does, and I don't have it stacked up too high, um, with your hips forward a little bit, is it lifts your hips a little higher than your knees so that your back can come up nice and straight. If um, when you sit on the floor and you feel like you're rounding out and you're almost falling backwards, then you need to prop something up underneath yourself. And that'll give you that nice straight spine so that you can have that airway open for breathing. So, today's playlist, if you don't like rock music, pick your own playlist. That's one of the great things about doing these pre-recorded videos, is you can pick your own music. I have picked music that has kind of like inspired me this morning, kind of moved me, kind of my feel. If you're one of my yogis, you know that music really moves me, and so this is just kind of my vibe for today. So I'm feeling that rock and stuff. A lot of this music that's on this playlist is um, music that my husband and I listened to when we were dating because we were uh, 90s uh, high school sweethearts. So, and some of this is like 80s music, 80s, 90s stuff, but we, this is our stuff. We love listening to it together. Um, so, feel flowy. Um, feel loose in your movements. We want nice fluid joints. Um, we want flexibility, lots of movement in the body, feeling openness. So when you are going into those stretches, don't force your stretch. Use your breath and just kind of let the body flow into it. If your body feels like it wants to go in a different direction than I'm going, feel that freedom to take it there. I always encourage that in my classes too. I think there's a little um, hesitancy to doing that, feeling like, Maybe you won't look right or it won't come off right. Who cares? Do Go with it. Run with it and do it. But now you're at home. You need to do your own thing. And so let your body flow. Learn to build your own home practice. Um, not that I want you to stop coming here. I want you to always come here. Um, but let that body be free to move how it wants to move. I've got my sage burning because I love the smell of sage. And I have my superhuman oil on, so it's giving me some energy today. Um, just the weather outside's giving me energy, so let's get this thing going. So my playlist for today is um, Fiery Rock and Flow. <laughs> I will post that link for you. There is like, I don't know that you can see it in the video, but because the lights are on shining here, there is like this fog of sage because there's no open windows in here for it to pull out so it's like this fog of windows so I feel like I'm in a uh, uh, like with this music playing kind of a, a rock you know where there's like smoke everywhere <laughs> rock concert with smoke everywhere all right but I'm a happy girl so hopefully you're happy today hopefully you feel amazing so we are gonna start our playlist and let's hit that first Song in three, two, one. All right. Bringing that center and rolling the head side to side. And I could sing to this playlist, but I won't. Hopefully you're playing music, some sort of music to block out any, you know, singing that I might decide to slip out. <laughs> Drop the chin to the chest. Bring it up center. 
exhale everything out. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, pull it up one more time. Pull it all the way up in the chest. And as you exhale, exhale the chest first. And the belly. And take your longest breath. Inhaling, right arm up, exhale over. Take a breath, exhale, reach a little bit longer. Inhale up, exhale, reach a little bit longer. Inhale up, exhale, reach a little bit longer. Inhale up, exhale, reach as far as you can go, sinking that elbow into the mat. Inhaling, left arm up, exhale over. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, and exhale, reach, 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 reach. And inhale up and exhale, twisting to the left side, lift it up nice and tall. Pulling that shoulder back. Exhale, nice straight spine. Let that belly soften, ring it out. If you can't reach the hand to the opposite leg, just leave it on the inside of the leg and lift your chest up nice and tall. And switching sides, lift it up nice and tall, twist it out. Exhale, a little deeper twist. And bring it center, hinging forward. Crawl those fingers out nice and long, nice flat back, pulling the chest forward. And maybe start to rock the shoulders side to side. Keep crawling the fingers out as those hips open up. Drawing that up, switching out those feet. Same thing, rocking side to side, opening up into those hips. Crawl the fingers out a little more. And bringing that up, reaching back, grabbing the back of your blanket or hands on the floor, pop the chest forward, tip the head back, let your spine soften and your tailbone pop up towards your head. So pushing your heart up to the ceiling, but let that back relax, take a breath, and exhale. And release, pulling ribs side to side. And bring 
bring that left arm in front. We're going to do a full body stretch today. <clears throat> Get the whole body opened up, feeling good. Inhale that arm up behind the head. Exhale, pull that elbow behind the head. And switch it out. Flatten out that hand, bring that knee over to the left side. We're going to bring that left or that right foot up by the left hand. Flip that open, fall in triangle. Arch the spine, chest pulls up. 
Pull that shoulder back. Pull the heart forward. Hand comes down, twisting that out. Let that hip fall to the floor and the leg slide out. Bring those hands down to the floor. Bring the chest down. Pushing up, fingertips, lift the heart. And hands on the floor, tuck the toes, slide the leg back up, bending that knee. And bring that knee up, plant the foot on the outside of the right hand, and low lunge. Rocking the hips side to side. See if you can drop the chest a little more. Let that knee fall out. Coming into your lizard lunge. Bring it back up to hands. Stepping that back, down dog and pedal out. Centering the right foot, crossing left ankle over, press down into that right heel, pushing your chest toward the thigh. Sweeping that left leg up, bend that knee, left fingers, fingertips. Pull the heart forward. Get a nice good arch in that spine. Plant that hand, bring that knee over. Right or left foot up by the right hand. Flip it open. Fall in triangle. Pull your heart forward. Pull the chest open. Bring that hand down and bringing the hip down, bringing that leg in line with that hip, twisting out. Bringing that back up to fingertips, lift the chest. Plant the hand, tuck the toes. And sliding that leg back up. And bring that foot up by the left hand. A little lunge. Sink those hips forward, rock the hips side to side. Start to walk it down into your lizard lunge. Bring it back up to hands. Step it back. Down dog. Pedal out. Let's walk up the center of your mat, dropping your heel with every step. Trying to keep those hands connected all the way up. Hanging forward full, feet hip width apart. Nice and easy, bend those knees, ripple up through that spine. Bring that into your mountain pose. Rock your hips side to side. Stay rooted down through all of the bones in your feet. 
So don't roll over onto the edge of your foot. You're keeping your foot flat on the floor, pushing your hips way out. So we're not sinking back and rocking this way. Hips are pulled forward, hips are pulling side to side. You should feel that in your psoas. Bring that center, inhale, arms up, take that arch. Exhaling, forward fold, hinging back. Step that right foot somewhere behind the left and sink back into the booty, back into the heels, hinging right in the hips. Bring that up center, step the left foot somewhere behind the right, sink back, hinging in those hips. And bring that center, bring the hands to the small of your back, and drop the crown of the head all the way down, pull the chest forward, pull the shoulders back. Maybe rock side to side a little bit. And release those hands down to the floor. Good, strong back, inhaling all the way up. Exhaling, namaste, stretching out those hands, bringing that heart center, feel freedom in your flow. Move those hips side to side if you want. You can take a big arch if you want. Whatever feels good in your own body. Inhale, fan that up. So you can fan up like this. You can fan up like this. Whatever feels good to you. Exhaling, hinging in those hips. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Taking it back to plank. Knees or toes. I'm feeling like a toes kind of day. Lowering chaturanga. Up dog. Dropping the pelvis toward the floor so your thighs can be touching or thighs lifted. Pulling the belly forward, pulling the heart forward, rolling the tips of the shoulders back, and rolling up over those toes into that down dog. Pushing the chest toward the thighs, lengthening those arms, pedaling out those heels if you want. Centering the left foot, sweep the right leg up. Three-legged dog of your choice, open hip, close hip, or bent knee. I really like a bent knee. Pull that knee up into the chest. Quietly plant that foot. Spiral the back heel down. Sweep up. Warrior one. Sink into that thigh. Airplane that out. Hover that thigh. Sweep the arms back. Palms up. Hands to the floor. Exhale. Front leg straight. Sink the chest down to the thigh. Sink forward. Kick that back heel up. And sink straight back. And sink forward. Drop the heel down. Sink back. Sink forward. Sweeping it back up. Warrior one. Yogi gun. Bring the hands together. Clasp them. Point the first two fingers. Pulling straight up. Pull those hips forward. Feel that back hip flexor stretch. And lean out. Bring it up. Take an arch. Lean out. Bring it up. Take an arch. Lean out. Bring it up. Take an arch. Drop the hands behind you. Open up wide like a goal post. Sweeping it back up where you're one. Hands coming down. Take it back. Plank. I always like to take my back to a down dog first. Then to plank. Lowering chaturanga. But you do what feels good to you. Pulling that heart through. Shoulders back. Oh, the body should start to be feeling open. Up over those toes into that down dog. Centering the right foot, sweeping left leg up, three-legged dog of your choice. Mm -hmm. 
Work on soft, quiet landings to where there is no sound when that foot hits. To do that, you have to roll forward on the back toes, squeeze the knee way up into the chest, and quietly plant the foot. Back heel spirals down, sweep up. Warrior one. Airplane that out, hover. Sweeping those arms back. Hands to the floor, exhale, front leg straight. And down, kicking that back heel up. And straighten, keeping the chest pulling toward the thigh. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten, and bend. Drop that back heel down, sweep it back up. Warrior one, yogi gun, pulling that up toward the ceiling, and then lunging forward, and then bring it back up, take an arch, and lunging forward, bring it up, take an arch, lunging forward, bring it up, take an arch, and release, bringing the hands down, stepping it back, down dog, Bring it into plank, lower chaturanga, up dog, pulling the chest forward, pulling the pelvis to the floor. Rocking shoulders side to side. Up over those toes, down dog. Centering the left foot, sweeping the right leg up, three-legged dog of your choice. Bend that knee high up into the chest, quietly plant the foot, windmill back, or spiral back foot down, windmill up warrior two. Sinking into that front thigh, dropping the shoulders, reaching the arms long. Let's bring this thigh as parallel to the floor as we can, so you might need to widen your stance a little bit. Sinking into that thigh, feel the hips sink down through it. And just kind of pulse it out a little bit, opening that up. Arms don't have to stay out. That's a little bit intense for the arms when you hold it out. But if you want to work that strength in the arms. Sweep up warrior one, warrior two. Warrior one, warrior two, you're opening that back hip. Warrior one, warrior two, two more. Warrior one, warrior two, one more. Warrior one, warrior two, and we know that all the way back down. Step it back, pedal out. Bring that into plank, lower in chaturanga. Slide through up dog, pulling that heart forward. Up over those toes, down dog, pedaling out. Centering the right foot, sweep the left leg up. Lengthen those arms, push the chest toward the thigh. And rolling forward, pulling that knee up into the chest, quietly plant the foot, back heel down, one middle up, warrior two. Sink into it, widen your stance if you need to. Feel this hip sinking down. And just kind of pulse it out. You can bring those hands to the hips if you want. And sweep up warrior one. We're stretching out this back hip. So as you turn the hips forward, lengthen that back leg. 
Open up warrior two. Sweep up warrior one. Open up warrior two. Sweep up warrior one. Open up warrior two. We have two more. Sweep up warrior one. Open up warrior two. One more time. Sweep up warrior one. And bringing those hands down. Step it back. Down dog. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Pelvis to the floor. Roll in the tips of the shoulders back. And down dog. Those heels should be dropping lower. Your belly should be closer to your thighs. Lengthen those arms by pushing your hands into the mat. The fingers should be separated. And then exhale, heels down as much as you can. Keep those arms nice and long. Centering the left foot, sweep the right leg up. And bend that knee, roll forward, the toes plant the foot. Spiral the back heel down, the windmill up, warrior two, going into triangle pose. So let's straighten the front leg. Let's do reverse warrior. So front hand tips to the back, soften that back shoulder. Take a breath and exhale, reach the arm longer. Sink into that front knee. Exhale, reach the arm longer. Straighten the front leg, bring it to warrior two arms. Kick that back heel, hip to the back wall. Reaching arm really long. And then bring the hand to the shin. Left arm sweeps up in front of the chest. Make sure it's straight out of that shoulder socket so we don't want it out here, back here, up here, anywhere, but right straight up out of that shoulder socket. See if you can slide the hand down the shin. This is where your blanket will come in handy if these hamstrings are tight. Right here, if you feel like it's tight and it wants to pop, then you want something to keep your hand on your shin or something here on the floor. Twisting that chest open. See if you can keep sinking down. Do not force that hamstring. And one more breath. Twist the chest open a little more. So my hand's not moving. I'm twisting in the shoulders. Windmill that back up. Warrior two. Sweep it up. Warrior one. Hips should feel more open. Spine should feel a little straighter. Sink into that thigh. Windmill all the way back down to the floor. Step it back. Down dog. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Rock the shoulders back and forth. Up over those toes. Down dog. Drop down into the heels. Push your chest toward the thighs. Lengthen those arms. Centering the right foot. Sweep and left leg up. Pull that knee up into the chest. Plant the foot. Spiral the back heel down. Windmill up warrior two. Straight in the front leg. Reverse warrior. Let's take a breath and exhale. Reach the arm a little bit longer. Soften that back shoulder. Sink and then sink into that front thigh. Exhale, reach the arm a little longer. Straighten the front leg. Warrior two arms. Going into triangle. So reach, kicking that back hip back as far as you can. Reach, 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 reach till you can't reach any longer. And then bringing that hand down to the shin. Sweeping that right arm up straight in front of the chest, right straight out of that shoulder socket. Remember, not out here. 
up out of the shoulder socket. So this is my tight hamstring side. This side doesn't like to cooperate. So I already feel it pulling here. If you feel like it's a band that's about ready to snap, you wanna back off. You wanna relax the muscle. Tension brings discomfort. And we're gonna twist in the shoulders. So the back of the hand is not pulling back. It's staying straight up and you're twisting in those shoulders. See if you can deepen that stretch. Not forcing that hamstring. Pull the shoulders open. Bring that back into warrior two. Sweep up warrior one. Hips should feel nice and open. Back is nice and straight. And we'll go that all the way back down. Step it back. Down dog. Hmm. Pushing the chest toward the thighs. You should feel like those hamstrings are really stretching out now. Center in the left foot, sweeping the right leg up. Lift, 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 lift. Bend that knee to the front. Plant the foot, crescent pose, widen your base. Sink into the thigh. Straighten the back leg, pull that back knee back as much as you can. Like you're trying to drop that heel down to the floor. Back is nice and straight, sink. Up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Bring those hands behind your back, clasp them, pop the chest forward, lunging forward. Drop the crown of the head down, arms come up over the head so that shoulder's touching that thigh. Release, bring it back up, crescent, pulse it out a little bit more, go at your own pace, keeping that back leg as straight as you can. Open up wide like a goalpost. Bring those hands behind you, pop that chest up. Release, bring the arms back up, hands come back down, step it back, down dog, pedal out. Whew. Center your right foot, sweeping left leg up. Oops, yes, that's it. And bring that knee into the front, plant the foot, wide your base. Press it. Now we're working on that back hip flexor on the right leg. Sink into that thigh. Push this back knee as straight as you can. It may not be straight. Mine looks like it has a little bit of a bend, but it feels super straight. So we want to take a little bit of this arch out. So pull those hips forward. Bring your spine nice and straight. Sink into the thigh. Let's pulse it out up and down. Keeping that back leg straight, up and down at your own pace. One more. Airplane that out. Bring those hands behind you and dropping the chest to that thigh. Dropping the crown of the head down, bringing those arms up over the head. my earpiece again. And sweeping that up. Hmm. Open that up like a goal post. I forgot we pulsed it out again. Let's sweep it up and pulse. Pulse. Should feel some heat. And open up wide like a goalpost. Dropping the hands behind you, clasping those hands, pop the chest forward. Release, back up in a crescent, 
and bringing those hands down, stab it back, down dog.
We want to start to soften the back. Roll the tips of the shoulders back. See if you can draw out the head. Hips are pulling forward. This is modified. And bring it up. We're going to do one hand. So tuck the right toes. Bring your heel up a little bit higher. See if you can keep those hips forward. Bring the right arm up and around, and that opens up your chest. If you reach back like this, it's going to be a little bit harder, but if you open up and pull that arm back, then that chest is open. Now let go of the left side, sweep it up, and exhale, pull the chest open. Pull everything forward. And then the hand is on the inside of the foot. And then if you want, you can stay here or exhale, arch that back. And bringing that down, tuck the left toes, bring that heel up to you. Right hand pushing those hips forward. Left hand sweeps up and back and reaches to the inside of that foot, pushing the heart forward. Release the right hand up and open up that chest. Pull everything forward, like you have a belt wrapped around your ribs and it's pulling you forward. Hand is on the inside of that foot. And release. So, we're going to try with the foot not, with the toes not tucked, we're going to try with that foot flat. If you can't access that, then you are going to stay with the toes tucked, okay? So you just do that same thing over again. So left hand pushing that hip forward, sweep that right arm up and back and hook on the inside of that foot and everything's pulling forward. Then release that left arm up. And take a breath and if you want, exhale, arch it back. Make sure you're breathing. And release. Right hand on the hip, pushing forward. Inhale, left arm up, and exhale, reaching to the inside of the foot. Push everything forward, and then release the right arm up. Hanging out here, or exhale, arch it back. and release. So, now you know if you need tucked toes or not, we're gonna go into the full expression of the posture. If you wanna stay with modified and keep the hips here, keep the hips here. Otherwise, we're gonna go into the full expression of the posture where both hands go back. So we don't reach back like this. We want to open up the shoulder and pull it back, okay? So, hips forward. Inhale, one arm up, whichever one you want to lead. I usually lead with my right. Tuck that hand on the inside of the foot, everything pulling forward. Inhale, left arm up. Exhale, I lean back just slightly to get the hook. And then I drop my head, soften my spine, pull everything forward. Take another breath and exhale, pull everything forward. Release one arm and the other arm. And that was a deep back bend. We counter that stretch. Ah! <laughs> Sink back into that child's pose. Widen those knees. Let that belly drop through. Ooh. Mm. Frog pose. So the one 
frog pose that we need to correct. Um, and we always don't like to say you're doing it right or wrong because it's not a right or wrong, it's just more effective. And when I go around and do the adjustments, you can really feel the deepening of the pose. A lot of times people are too far forward and you're not getting the real deep hip opening. So a lot of times we'll see booties high, we'll see toes back. We don't wanna to see toes back, we wanna see the arches on the floor and the knees out and the booty stays back. But a lot of times when you start to drop your chest, you start to crawl forward and the hips are in front of the knees and then you're way down like this. That's not as beneficial as what sinking the booty back. So think about the hips behind the knees. So you can see my alignment here. So I'm dropping my chest back, my arches of my feet are on the floor, my toes are pointing out, my feet are flexed. I'm sinking back into the hips. Now I can feel it engaging right in my hips. Wiggling down, keeping my hips back. My elbows kind of keep my body back. So when I drop my forearms down to the floor, this keeps my body in place. I kind of bring my arms in and fold it so I don't slide forward and just kind of let my elbows wiggle out to the side and drop my chest down to the floor. And then wiggle out a little bit more. So don't let your body slide forward. Don't let your toes tuck back. Keep those feet flexed. The knees should be in line with the ankles. They sh the feet should not be tucked in like this. So sink back. And we're going to linger here for a couple breaths. Keep wiggling down, widening that. Hmm. sides. Uh, you may get one side and not the other side. I have no idea if I can get this other side. Without a strap, that makes it really hard to get that foot up on your, high up on your arm. So we're opening up the hip flexors, we're opening up the thighs, right ankle underneath the right knee, pushing those hips forward. Pulse that out a few times, get that stretched out. And a little bit of balance here.
hamstrings are open, everything should feel amazing. Okay, if you're listening to the same playlist that I'm listening to, it's Sweet Emotion by Aerosmith, and I just have to do a flow through this. So before we end, let's do a vinyasa flow, because I feel good. I hope you feel good too. Bringing that into mountain pose. Feel loosey goose. Have fun with your flow. Inhale up. Take that arch. Exhale, forward fold. Press it out. Squeeze up onto those toes. Bring it down. Giant step back. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Shoulders back. Pelvis down. Get a nice good arch. Feel freedom in your flow. Up over those toes, down dog. Feel free to paddle out. Center left foot, sweep right toe up, back of the head up toward the toes. Bringing that knee up into the chest, plant the foot, standing splits, lift. Right hand on that calf, pull that body in, and lift. Lengthen those legs, standing splits. Bringing that foot down to the floor, pedal out, or wiggle out, or dance it out. Good strong back inhale, all the way up. Exhaling, forward fold. Press, squeeze up under the toes. Giant step back. Chaturanga. Up dog. Rock it out. And down dog. Pedaling out. Center and right foot, sweep leg up, toes tipping toward the back of the head, lift your head, push through those hands. Bring that knee up into the chest, plant the foot, spring forward, standing splits. Chest toward the thigh, lift the leg. And bring that foot down, wiggle out, pedal out, dance it out. Good strong back, inhaling all the way up, take that arch. Exhaling forward fold, work that press. Giant step back, plank, lower chaturanga, up dog. Pull the belly and the chest forward. Roll the tips of the shoulders back. Rock it side to side. Up over those toes, down dog. Pedal out. Or if you were in Erica's class, do that booty bounce. Let that all shake. Can't remember what it's called. It's kind of fun, kind of feels good. Centering left foot, sweeping right toes up, bend that knee, arch the body. Let's flip it over into wild thing. Let that foot fall to the floor. Spine should feel nice and open. That should feel pretty good. Mm. Bringing the hand to the floor, sweeping that leg up and down. Left leg goes up, bending that knee. Find the floor, wild thing. To the floor, the leg goes up. And bring that into down dog. Pedaling out. And bringing those knees down. This playlist is like two hours long. I can like really keep going, but I'm not gonna. <sighs> so, 
Uh, you can find your own Shavasana song if you want. Um, the Metallica, it's not Metallica, it's Apocalypta. It's a strings version of Nothing Else Matters. This is a good option for Shavasana today. You can, it's Home Sweet Home by Motley Crue right now. You can stay on that if you want. Or find your own Shavasana song. I'm going to listen to Nothing Else Matters by Apocalypta after we do boat pose. Pull it up nice and tight. Chest is lifted. Bring it in. Butterfly. Grab hold of the big toes. Lengthen the right leg. Bring it in. Lengthen the left leg. Hamstring should be flexible. If you want, lengthen both. Bring it back into boat. And melt it down to your mat. So I'm listening to Nothing Else Matters. It's a really pretty stringed version. Relaxing those feet. The body should feel amazing. Nice, good stretch. Energizing. Relax the toes, ankles, calves, knees. Soften the thighs, unclench the booty, relax those abs. Relax the arms, fingers, wrists, elbows. Take a breath. And with your exhale, sink your chest and shoulder into the floor. Soften your face. Almost like you have a delighted look on your face. If you bring delight on the face, then the muscles relax. Separating the teeth, closing the lips, let the jaw fall back. Softly closing the eyelids, they are barely closed. The eyeballs sink back, up tilt crossed. Relaxing the forehead, relaxing the eyebrows, facial muscles relaxed. Take another breath in. And a soft exhale. And keep your breath nice and soft. Try to resist the temptation of fidgeting and moving, scratching, and just rest. Let those eyes sink deep into those sockets.
together, reach it nice and long, give yourself a nice good stretch, and rolling to the right side, bringing that up into seated, bring yourself into a comfortable seated position, exhaling everything out. Big inhale, both nostrils. And a big exhale. Mm. 